This video is about how you open up a TED S840JQ2 dryer. Uh, it's made by Estate, it's also made by Whirlpool, and it's a fairly standard electric dryer. Most dryers are put together about the same way. We want to open it up to replace the belt. We know we need to replace the belt because the drum doesn't turn when the motor runs, and it turns pretty easily when you push it by hand. So, opening this thing can be a bit of a challenge because there aren't any obvious screws anywhere. And you can go around, whoosh, to take off the back. And you take off the back and there's this piece of metal in the way keeping you from getting at the belt. Uh, this, by the way, is the heater. And this is the other end of the air vent. There's the electrical wiring. Note that I've pulled the plug before I do that. Um, so, the way to open it involves pulling out these little screws, and we're going to be lift. We're going to lift up the top. Okay. Now, one interesting thing is these are odd kind of hingy things. They prevent they prevent it from going up. And in fact, even if you unscrew them, it doesn't go up. Um, but they don't prevent it from tilting like so. So what we're going to have to do is figure out how to open up the front. And it turns out there's a trick to it. What you have to do is basically pull the front towards you. You can like push on the bottom part with your hip and pull here. And that one opens up and we do the same on the other side. And you see what's holding it is this clever little plastic locky thing. And that essentially grabs onto the lip up here, right at this notch. And so when you pull it forwards, it disengages. And you can lift it. And if you look at the little hinges in back, you see that they're designed so that you can pull it somewhat forward. Like that. Okay? And of course, these screws had to come off because otherwise they would hold the top down. The belt sits right here in the rim, and in this case, the belt has fallen down and is doubtless lying in the tangle far below. Um, the next step in opening it would be to take out these screws here and here and pop the front off, and then you can get in underneath. So, Good luck. I'm not going to get out my nut driver right now, but uh, I'm sure you can.